We're using Google Earth Pro to make aerial images that we can put on our Garmin GPS. Any Google image can be put on there. Use Pro because of the high screen resolution for a screenshot. You can get like a 10 mile by 7 mile picture in one fell swoop that is actually reasonable resolution and anything closer than that is exceptional. Um, so first thing you want to do is get full screen, get the photo that you want, get it lined up. Um, maybe give yourself a little bit of buffer on the edges and uh, go up to the icon here, which is the save image icon. Over here, make sure you're on maximum resolution. Get rid of that little thing. Save image. Um, we can call it... And my exceptional typing skills are evident. So, okay, so I'll just put the image, which is a big JPEG, in my documents. So now close out of that, save image mode. Do not move the screen. Don't change the zoom. Just leave it as original. Get rid of that little thing. Go to overlay. Uh, browse. And go to my documents. So I'm going to turn this off. So I'm in my documents, browse down to high res, click it and open. And it will open in the, the Google Earth there. Um, slide your transparency down to the half-ish. And we're going to call that high res again. So something like that. And slide that over to the side for now. Use the center thing first and just make sure the center is pretty close. Uh, I would then do the side perimeters like as far as stretching this thing and just get it fairly close and I'm gonna go fairly quick with this because it's boring to watch I'm sure. It's basically just get the edges about where you want them and then go to the corners and Manipulate them so that you can see things are superimposed. I'm just finishing up. You can, when you get to the fine details, you just kind of look at the one quadrant. And as you're moving this around, when that looks to be in focus, and not fuzzy, you're there. And you just jump from corner to corner. So it looks like we got it pretty good there now. Um, make sure you slide this thing back and save it or as OK. And what you just did is you put it over here in the sidebar. There it is right there. Uh, now what you want to do is uh, right-click that, save place as, and make sure this is on KMZ. And it also puts it in My Documents. So I've navigated over to My Documents, and there is our new KMZ. Now this is all one giant picture and your Garmin can't handle the giant KMZ. It has to break them up into tiles is what they call them. So there's one additional little tool that you need to do that. And I'm going to show you that right now. So here's a very simple to use software. It's called G Raster. You can get a demo for free and you have to pay five bucks to get the full uh, thing and definitely do it. It saves so much time. So you open that up. Go up to this, scroll down to KMZ single image, then go to the next button, the load to KMZ. Um, and conveniently, it's right on top. So click it so that it's down here, open it up, and it opens up your picture. I just leave all the settings on default. I'm not going to touch that. Go over here and say create KMZ file. And it has already created my KMZ file. That's back in the documents right next to the other KMZ. I'm going to go over there. All right, so here it is. It's got the two KMZ suffixes instead of just the one. This is the one you want. I'm going to open this up in, in, in Google Earth, and you can take a look at it. This actual file is the one that will work on your, your Garmin. But let's just look at it here. So you can see how it's all made up into tiles. You see that? Um, that's 
And let's open it up and you can maybe see it this way. Yeah, so each little square, well, let's put that on a different picture. There we go. So the background, I just changed the aerial so you can see what it, so that's how that's made up. I'm just turning off the different tiles. Um, I'm now show you how to put it into your GPS and then we're all done. So when you plug in your Garmin, the computer recognizes it as like a USB mass storage drive, or whatever they call them things. Um, and it'll say Garmin and also the little SD card that you have in there. That's where you're going to want to put the, the maps that you're making. And if we open that up, you, you put the SD card and in that you make a folder called Garmin. And then within the Garmin folder, you make another folder called custom maps. It's inside the custom maps folder that you're putting these KMZ maps that you're making. Um, so all we got to do is copy and paste that into this folder here, which I guess I'll do that right now. All right, so right click copy on our double KMZ suffixed uh, and then come over here and navigate to your and then right click copy right into that thing and that map is now officially in your custom maps you can read it in your garmin <clears throat>